All right, when we last left our heroes, you guys were exploring the source of the undead uprising, mm -hmm. and you went to look up um, where uh, Nock, I think it was Nock sent you guys mm -hmm. to look at the uh, cult uprising that was happening. Mm -hmm. In there, you found a crazy cat lady who was half cat, half lady, mm -hmm. but not a sphinx. No. That's very important. She was not a sphinx. Debatable. Um, and then there was a lot of tension in the group. You guys got attacked yeah. by... Before this, you actually got attacked by the go, the, the revenant of Valriana, mm -hmm. who came back to kill Chief, but she failed again. What a loser. <laughs> yep. um, and then there was a bit of drama. And then um, Chief tried to kill the whole party because, uh, you know, he felt it was in him. I felt, At I that felt. point, Eric left the group to go and, uh, in his words, unknown to the others, rid the uh, that whatever evil infestation happened there. Does, um, it looks like we're getting some, okay, cool. Um, so, uh, Eric went on his own to see if he could rid the Lamia cult from that area. Did he, did he succeed? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. But, Panya and Chief, we're going to go check out some observatories. Yep. Um, Chief got a brand new sword. I did. Yeah. It's a masterwork, great sword. Yes, it is a great sword. It, it is. is. What a is. great sword. Um, why don't we start with you guys, please, all three of you rolling initiative for okay, me. Okay, what's spaghetti? Oh, hello. Easy. That's 18. Times are ready. I got <laughs> fucking... You got a three, I think. I what about you, Eric? 24. Wow. Okay. What do I add to it again? I'm lost. Your oh, initiative. No, I got three. I 100% yeah, yeah. got three. Yeah. Three is Worst. good. Your, your sorcerer, first, it's okay if you go a bit later, okay. unless you want to go first to cast protection spells, then you're just fine. Yeah, Can I, I also just point out, 90% of the time you hold your action? I do. <laughs> I do. Is that, a, is that an actual 90%? Can I get some stats on no, that? No, no. I'm pretty sure it's pretty accurate. It, it, yeah, I'm not, I'm not citing sources here. Can I, uh, can, can I get APAs, a date break? APA citations. All right, so what I we're going to do is we're going to put a tiny hold on Eric's part of the adventure to see where our dear paladin goes. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we'll start with you two at the bar in the morning. You guys have slept well, you've rejuvenated your HP and your spells. That's They don't serve that at the, the tavern, just so everyone knows. Well, Gatorade. Blue drink? No, no blue Gatorade. Blue Gatorade. Generic actually, blue it's drink. actually just Gatorade. It's, I just made this taste so bad when I thought this should be blue, blue milk. milk. Ugh. Blue yeah. milk. Uh, let's go to you. Yes. So, also as a side note, Temenev is not coming with you guys today. Um, he has uh, decided to stay and tend to the sick at the temple. He was just like, oh, whoa, I'm a priest. Yeah. Temenev just, has gout. <laughs> I have a job. Okay. I also like the idea he has gout. <laughs> no. Uh, it up. Can't, so much red meat. Can't make it up. Do you need to remember the two names? You're looking those up now. I am looking them up. The sun Star Chart, the Sky and the Moon. And, moon. So, and the Academy of the, oh, the Academy of the Sky and the Moon with the Observatory of Truth and Wisdom. Yeah. And I 100% forget which one we said we were going to go to. The Sky to. and the Moon. Okay. The Sky. What was the other one? The moon. Truth and Wisdom. Truth and Wisdom. Yes. Truth and Wisdom. Well, Panya. We're going to go to the sky and the moon today. The Take academy. me to the sky and the moon. Oh, that's a... First to the sky and then to the moon and not the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> Please, thank you. Um, are we staying at the Tooth and Hookah? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, that's really conveniently close. Perfect. I, if we could scale a giant wall. There's a giant wall there, I just realized. <laughs> Good thing I got spider climb. Yep. Can't do anything for me, though. No, that's you're, okay. you're hooped. We'll just... Hoop. Hooped. Hooped. Yeah, so we just need to go. I mean, like, I'm not, I don't need anything. Do you need anything? Actually, before we depart, I would like to buy a few potions of cure moderate. Sure, those are going to be crazy expensive, just so you know. Are they? They're I have 300 gold normally. I have one platinum piece. How many will one platinum piece get me? Not enough. Not enough. That's worth 10 gold. <laughs> <laughs> All that platinum, though. It's nice that you've got some platinum, though. I don't know who would exchange it. I like how you have it written down, Tooth and Hookah. Yeah. It's a nice map. It's pretty weathered. What was the other one? What? The other observatory? Do you I know don't what know. what it's called? Uh, well, Truth and Wisdom. No, the other, other one. What? Third the one. Sky and the Moon? What third There's one? There's only two. Yeah. Oh, I thought there was the one that we went to last time. That must have been the bathhouse. 
So oh, they would cost you um, 500 gold, uh, gold each. 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 I'll yeah. buy one. Sure. I would like your gold, please, sir. Uh, Cross it off of this thing. Says the extortionist. Oh, yeah, the city is in a panic that. right now. Uh oh. The dead are literally walking the earth. This stuff. And this man is making a killing. Yeah. I'll do that. Loving it. Boom, boom. And... Oh, that's oh, my oh, gold monix yeah. earrings. Oh, well. I need that. <laughs> that's him doing. She's like, he's excited for your gold and Excuse treasures. Me, sir, yeah. Please calm the fuck down. <laughs> Thank you. I really should have worn this on not my writing hand. Yeah. I should have done this the other way. <laughs> you should have. Yeah, that's the worst. I like how you gotta write pinkies up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's my favorite. Two little things. There we go. Okay. All right. You, you crossed off the prices. Yeah. Sick. 500, 400, and 100. Man, do you want a sweet necklace? Always. Okay. Well, I'll just pretend you have this then. It's gonna stay on this sheet. Cool. Oh, I I have... put on you I'll put just... a little P next to it, companion. Little... Yeah, I can. A little gold, golden onyx necklace. This is me trying to make peace with you. I also have that sweet lens, remember? Yeah, you do. You're just so swag right now. That was Eric's gift before Falling he out. potentially, you know. Oh, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Where the fuck is Eric, by the way? Oh, he told me he was not going to return. Right? Yeah, He's I don't no... know where he is. Yeah, yeah. His note was go. basically just like, you're a good man at heart, I'm not coming back. Yeah. See ya! Bye. Pretty ambiguous. Alright, so you guys are heading into the dead part of the city? Yeah! Alright. And you guys are going to the Academy of Skies and Moon? Yeah. Alright, it's uh, it's about, uh, if you guys leave the house at 9, you get there about like 10, 15 mm -hmm. in the a morning. Good commute in the so city. Um, you once again have to go through the smugglers' tunnels, yeah. because you know you can't scale a nine thousand foot wall. If you were if you were fucked with it, like a just single story building, I don't want to see what like a three story wall would do to you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so much. Fun. The Academy of Skies and Moon is a nice little quiet building with a hole. As you see, it's like a domed roof, and uh, from what you've seen of some other places, this is likely going to be the place where they would look up and see the stars. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chief, your action. You stand in front of the. The big stone doors. Oh, wow. Let's go inside. Let's check the doors. They open. Whoa. Can you guys please each do a perception check? I would love to. I actually sunk some ranks into Ooh. this now. That's good. Hold on. Let me perceive. 12. 20. 20. 2012. You guys plus, each plus four. Plus four. So Mitt Romney, four. he arrives. Both of you guys hear the sound of a struggle and steel hitting on steel. Mm. There's a battle. There is a battle. There's a fight inside. Well, that's my action. <laughs> um. Oh dang! I would like to know if there's any magic happening in there. I will detect magic in the. Observatory. There is a dick load of magic. No magic. No magic. In the observatory. We good. We'll just go in there. Just like we'll, we'll Magic, go. only possible dangerous thing. It's not. Snakes. That's all I that's all I understand is magic. That's Without right. understanding it. You know? Deep fruits. That's beautiful. Deep fruits. Is that are we yeah, we're still cheap. just going through. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure when we were going to air, so. Um uh, First, muscle man. Yeah, let's uh, follow the sounds. Cool. Let's, yeah. yeah. Open the door. It's a it's a single room with stars carved along the walls, mm -hmm. and you see, standing in the center of the room, surrounded by multiple dead bodies. Just not a minotaur. Just <laughs> is two, uh, two golden masked figures oh, fighting off a single man. Why don't you introduce yourself? That man is uh, lean, but muscular. His shirt, fine silk, that has unfortunately been torn open in the, in the combat, revealing uh, chain mail beneath it. Black leather breeches, high shoes, earrings, a shield, uh, small on his arm, and he fights with, uh, with grace and panache. Um, you see that he is wounded. Can you please take off 10 hit points from your character? Good to know. Um, and he is currently fighting off two golden masked people. Um, the fate of Eric will remain unknown for the for the next while. 
Because they'll right. be playing a new character. Okay. Yes. Right. What's his name? Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Woo! I was going to say, he's like, so this fucker's Raphael. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, one of the ma one of the masked the masked man swings at Rodrigo. What's your AC? Uh, twenty two. Uh, it does not hit. Uh, and the this woman swings as well. Max bonus. Yep. Uh, and he's able to gracefully sway out of the way of both the strikes that come at him. Oh, and it's like white spaghetti. Rodrigo, it's your turn. White spaghetti. <laughs> Is that what you say from the doorway? Yes. Like, what's my <laughs> Okay, I'm going to take aim at the person. Yeah, um... like <laughs> the man is injured. The mm -hmm. woman is not. I'm going to injure the man. I'm going to sure. try and take him out. Copy this now, here's here's your first attack. Let's see if it's good. Your first two dodges were great. Oh, that's not good. That's a... Um... That's only like a 16 to hit. That hits. Oh, nice. Uh, that is 14 damage. Uh, the man falls to the ground, stabbed through the throat Ooh. with absolute precision. And Chief, it's your turn. Uh... Wow, that's fancy. Um, <laughs> just continues to watch. Yeah, I proceed I to die very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, <stop>. help! <laughs> no, everything hurts. I only have two dodges in me. <laughs> um, I'm tired now. I die. I'll. Uh, can I close an attack? Yeah, they're okay. only about ten. It's a small building. It's, yeah, it's teeny tiny. Good, because yeah. you say it's like about how many feet? Uh, 30 feet. About, okay. yeah, 30 feet from there. It's only about 15 okay. feet wide. Yeah. Well, I just read the description of my sword and it said 5 feet. Yeah. So I was like, wow. <laughs> that's big. Uh, yeah. Fucking blur. That's a 23 to hit. You hit. Did you just charge that person? I did. I just... <laughs> um, so that's, uh, that's 11 plus... <laughs> 12. That's 24. 24, 24 damage. 11 plus 12? Because you're two-handing it? Yeah, two-handing plus one for the masterwork. How are you getting plus 12 on your uh, weapon damage? Because it's probably, well, you're two-handing it, right? Yeah. So it's five, six, seven. Um, and then you guys told me to add... My base attack bonus to nope. it last time. No, you had that's your, your what I strength thought. bonus. You that's... always attack. You added both. We said just strength. If no, I didn't add both because I had eight, it. Nine, ten, eleven. No, I had twelve. it. Twelve. Yep, yeah, you'd get there because as a fighter, you get a plus one to um, attack and damage through your weapon training. Well, that's just, that's just the attack, not the damage. Nope. Damage. A weapon training gives you plus one to attack and damage. So you oh. you do twelve two handed. Yeah. And yeah. And then seven. Yeah. That's what the 7 is in brackets. That makes sense. Now. Okay. Yeah, so the 12 is when you're power attacking, which also means you take a minus... No, 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 no. I wasn't power attacking. I just... That's... It's just fucked up because last time you guys told me to add my base attack bonus and it looked fucky to me. No, we said strength. What? We said base attack bonus gets added. Your strength and your attack bonus gets added. Whatever. Here. When I was transcribing it, it didn't look right to me. So that's fair. I'm just glad to know. Yeah. You yeah. Okay, for attacks, you add yeah. strength and BAB. Yeah. Damage is just strength, and then... In I know, and yeah. then one time I rolled some damage, you guys said your BAB is missing from that, and I said... I'm 99% sure that never happened. Um, yeah. <laughs> it did, I think everyone's remembering it differently. Yeah. S some it's circumstance way like too that. complicated for Yeah, me. it is. But I just, when I was transcribing it, I was confused thing. as yeah. to confusing. how I got 12, and so, but I, that's just how it was in the old show. Yeah, yeah, with, if you're power tagging, that totally works. No, 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 it's all good. So, uh, that'll just be... Seven instead of twelve, so twelve plus seven, and I can't do math. Cool. Uh, the <laughs> the blade goes through her. It seems to hurt her quite a bit, mm -hmm. and she takes a response and attacks you. What's your AC? Nineteen. Nineteen. She hits. <gasps> no. Classic chief, always getting hit. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm. I'm the sponge. You're designed for it. Yeah. Uh, you take five damage <laughs> as her short sword sinks into you. Panya? 
your action. Uh, acid splash her. Go for it. Uh, and it's a D3. Uh, yes, you have to make a ranged touched attack first. So it's your base attack bonus, your bab, plus your dexterity modifier. So it'll be plus four. Four? On a D20. On a D20. Yep. Okay. You hit. Roll your damage. So is it this one? So it's a 1d3. D3, is this it? No, it, just do a d6, and, and then, then, yeah. Okay. So two damage. Yeah. Uh, the acid bubbles her skin. She screams out, and then melts away. Ooh. Normally, that's not how that works, but because the last kill was acid damage, I figured it'd be funnier for Clips like just ball. melting it'd be away. It'd funnier. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> so much funnier. The room is empty of living people, at least the masked ones. Mm -hmm. Rodrigo is huffing and puffing. Um... So a little bit, Rodrigo, I'll let this go to you. You can have the first action here. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She had just been nice to me earlier when I was trying to sneak in, and I did not want to have to kill her for that. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, like, that's a cult. Oh, well, yes, but you should still not try to be rude to anyone if you can avoid it. I'm going to clean my rapier on the man's shirt. Like the dead one, right? Yeah, good. No, not on yours. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Um, what are you doing here? Uh, a good question. I'm uh, here to try and find two of my friends. My, uh, my group, uh, we were here for the breaking open of the tombs, though, the mm -hmm. thefting that was going on, the yeah. legally sanctioned ones. Um, they said that they wanted to, uh, look into this place before we left. We've been, uh, staying at this place that's literally just over the wall, so we threw up a rope and, uh, hopped over. But, um, they hadn't come back this morning, and with everyone else leaving, I thought I'd, uh, try and find out what had happened. I met these masked people and managed to get into the door, but, as you can see... It didn't go over very well. Why were they trying to kill you? Um, there's something about a secret handshake... Or a passphrase, I'm not entirely certain. So, you came in with them, and then they asked you the password? Well, of course, they opened the door so I could come in. Oh, oh sorry, I see, I thought you showed up with them. No, no, I'm, I'm just very personable. Your accent, you're not from the Riverlands, are you? No. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, too, have a very non-Spanish, despite the fact that I have a Spanish-sounding name accent. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's good to meet a fellow Riverlander over here. Are you uh, in with one of the ships? What is happening? Oh, this is conversation. <laughs> I'm sorry, my lady. Uh, my name is Rodrigo. My lady? Oh, did I get that wrong? I should not leave. Really, I've never checked. Miss? <laughs> Ma'am. Mrs. Panya. Just Panya. This is Nyx. I give Nyx a bow. Hello. I feel weirded. I'm gonna go and look somewhere. Wait. Away. Well, you killed this fine lady. You don't want to... I'm good. Just a burnt up you acid corpse. You can deal corpse. with the like melted yeah. flesh beast. I'm good. Okay. I'm gonna start uh, pillaging the bodies. Sure. Where the fuck... I feel like this is another character from another campaign. Nope. No. This is nope. just Rodrigo. Yeah, this is Rodrigo. That's the title of day eight. Enter Rodrigo. <laughs> Alright, so you search the bodies. Rodrigo, and you find. No, no, um, no, not quite. But maybe. Chief and Rodrigo. You find a brass funerary mask, the one that the woman is wearing. This one. Brass, not gold. Brass. Yeah. It's worth 25 gold pieces. Mm. And you also find three turquoise gems. And how much are they worth? Uh, Ten each. Are you sure? It's not worth much, but... I'm okay. Thanks. I'd probably just spend it on booze anyways. Well, you've been sober for, what, 48 hours? Hey. Hey now. What's up? It's not my fault you're sober. You could fix that. Stop talking. Sure. <laughs> oh, I see. So what brings you here, then? Stars. Star charts. Skies. Observatories. Mm, lots of looking at things. 
Uh, mysteries. Man, there's a lot to go through. Well, perhaps another time, over a drink. While you're here, since you're clearly able to handle yourselves, would you mind helping me look for my friends? We could, yeah. I, I mean, it, yes. We definitely have space. Yeah, we can use some friends right now. All our friends are either... They're just, they're helping the sick. We, we don't have a lot of friends. She doesn't make friends easy, and people tend not to like me. I have no idea why. Neither do I. Please join our party. <laughs> so you will help me find my friends? Sure. Okay. Well, I mean, as long as it's uh, in the general areas that we're looking anyways. I'm sure they're in this building somewhere. Let's let's look for them. Excellent. Thank what, you. What do they look like? This is like only a 30-foot building. They're probably uh, under the corpses. This is just the front room. Oh. I wonder where they went. So... I'm going to wander around calling out their names. <laughs> Up. Perception check while you guys are now inside and the, <laughs> the battle has ceased. Uh, that's a 10. That is a... Fucking ridiculous roll. 21, 25? 20, yeah, 25. So, um, what are you looking to? 14. 14? Um, yeah, you guys are quick to learn that this building is very small. Um, it seems to be more of kind of like, there's some stone, like, desks in the corner. This seems to be more of a teaching space than it is an actual, like, mm -hmm. observatory. Um, <laughs> How to look at the sky, 101. Pretty much. <laughs> um, the... Once again, of your star parchment, is parchment. This is all stone carved in on the walls. Fuck! What? It's just, there's no parchment. None of it matches. None of it lines up. Well, maybe you're not looking for the right thing. This is parchment. Yeah. It comes from parchment. I get it. You can't go parchment to stone. It doesn't work like that. Unless you're an alchemist. Maybe. I don't know how alchemists. Clearly, I don't know what they can do. Clearly. Um. Mm. Find your friends! I can't imagine where they would be hiding in here. Unless there's secret doors, I'm gonna start feeling along the walls. It's just. Oh, can't inside. seem to find anything while looking. Did you look outside? It's just a circle building. It's like a big. I said they were Killer. coming here. I wasn't that far behind them. Do you guys right. have a map? Maybe they don't have gone. a map. They might have gotten lost. Um. What is there anything more to know about this building? Like any gods or anything that would be important to us? No. No. Okay. We're just in a building. So it I doesn't work with our star chart. So let's leave, kind of deal. Well, like, the stars don't even line up. Well, no, it, it's an old building, so the stars line up, but yeah. the star chart is not matching this one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So then we probably gotta head down to the truth and wisdom. Oh, we might be on the, like, who knows if they got this from an observatory. Grab that map, because it's so old. Remember what that line is. What, the compass line? Yeah. Yeah. That is a line that follows all the play. It's pointing towards where a necromantic source of power is coming from. Yeah. And where is the Observatory of Truth and Wisdom? On that where, line. Yeah, it's through that. No, you're at the Academy, which is the yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. I got it. I know what's going on. I'm just... What is but going on? But your character on? is saying there's nothing... Ha it's a dead end. No, I didn't say it was... I said that we might be. I'm not saying... It is. I'm just. I'm exasperated, Panya. I'm exasperated. Okay, it's two out of three observatories, and what are the chances that it's going to be at the last one? Probably pretty good. It's just exhausting to get there. Okay. I mean, all right. Sorry, part of that argument was mostly internal. Can but... you just <laughs> tone it down? Um, I mean. We're gonna run into some dead ends. It's not that big of a deal. It just means we get to spend more time together. Isn't that what you want, Chife? Let's go. Here's a crazy idea, though. 
Is this guy your friend? I'm going to take his mask off. The guy that he killed. I would have recognized him. How crazy would that have been if he was, though? Have we looted that body? No. I right, start scrounging through that body, too. <laughs> Just find the same things. Excellent. Yeah. Times two. <laughs> Color swap enemies. Yep. Do you know this group of mask people that are... We know of them. We've um, encountered quite a few of them on our journey. They're like what I would say... I'm incredibly suspicious of their activities. Most of them end up like these two have. Dead. They seem to be allied with the dead. Or motivations. The ones that are attacking the city right now. Yes. So did you like... What did you figure out in your temple dives? Or were you guys just like, oh, money, treasure? Yeah, mostly that the Pharasmans have no idea what's buried in here. We found so much gold. And this table. This table's, table's going to sell for quite a bit of money back. In the Riverlands. You found a table. I remember nice table. when we found a table. I remember when we found a table. Was your table nice? Oh, it's you know, such a long time ago. It was, it was a nice table. Wasn't it, though? Mm. Would you mind if I accompanied you? I assume if you're going after these masked people, then the ones you're chasing might know what happened to my friends. They're not the brightest. I worry they may have been captured or Don't worry. left for dead. Even some of the dimmest folk managed to make, make it out of here alive, so... I'm sure we'll find them. Of course, you're welcome to join us. Thank you. Should we continue? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm not too bright. Uh, I made you mad. Let's go. Hurt my feelings is what you did. Wow. At the, uh, so wait, I missed that. Are we giving up the search for your friends? No, I'm coming with you, because if the masked people were here, then they probably either captured my friends or put them in danger. I assume if you're chasing the masked people, you probably know where they're going to be next. So, do you like observatories? It's nice. Is it yours? No, but we're going to go How visit another. How many other dead bodies are there in this place? Um, there's only three dead bodies. Who, what's, who's the third one? Another... Yeah. Oh, Another cultist. Well, Rodrigo's. Okay. How crazy would it be if we opened that up? It is Rodrigo, and this was the three of them. Wow. The three Rodrigo's? The three Rodrigo's. Are your friends also named Rodrigo? Of course not. I don't know. It just would have been a really unique group name. Let's, can we please leave this observatory? Actually, the three Rodrigo's does have a good ring to it. I'm right? going to write that down. Thank you. I'm going to pull out a notebook and write that down. The three Rodrigo's. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, let's go to the place truth of and truth wisdom. and wisdom, not the academy. Must be at the what of truth and wisdom? The observatory, observatory. observatory of truth oh, and wisdom. Just the observe it. Oh, what a, it's plan words. You observe truth and wisdom there. You observe the. All right. So you guys are heading off to the observatory on truth and wisdom. Yes. Um. We're going to just take a tiny little YouTube break here as I'm not, for no reason whatsoever, looking at books and setting up things and rolling dice. Don't ask me any questions. Perfect. Is a dragon just going to, like, catch us? Mike, 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 Mike.